Interviews, education. We are TNM News. Hi, everybody. Todd Dankett here with TNM News. Welcome once again. Uh, it is uh, very cold here in Las Vegas, uh, hence the, uh, the beanie there. And uh, just so we're clear, that is the uh, Cheech Marin's private stash beanie, beanie uh, when I was at the launch of his product here in Las Vegas. But none of that matters because who is with me once again today? Of course, my good friend, Chef D. Hello, darlings. Hello, hello. hello. And Check sitting right out. next to Chef D is yeah. another chef. That's Bella Ferrari. And yeah. uh, she That's is cute. from Lit Spices. Welcome, Bella. Hi. How are you guys? That's my girl. Make sure you check out at Lit-Spices. Jumping show. right in with the plugs. Wasting no time. <laughs> right. yeah, no time. Because right. they're too deliciosos. <laughs> too delicious. At no Lit time. Spices. And uh, is that Instagram, Facebook, everywhere? Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, Instagram is lit underscore spices and then as well as uh, Facebook and then uh, website www.litspices.com. Great. So social at lit underscore spices. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah. Bella, well, tell us about lit and your spices and uh, how you guys hooked up. Yeah, so where do I begin? Oh, our story is so awesome. <laughs> Where do I begin? <laughs> so cute. So um, I moved here from Miami in February. And um, the reason why I moved out here was because I launched last year these spices. Um, I have epilepsy, so I really wanted to kind of get more into the healing part of everything that I was going through because I was on so many different medications and I was having more seizures on the medicine and I was just under that belief that these, these medicines were just no good for me. So I really leaned into the CBD and I taught myself so much. I did so much research and that's when I kind of like the light bulb popped in my head and I was like, I want to like infuse spices. How cool would it be? Instead of taking like tinctures, you know, smoking the vapes and all that. I was like, I want to come out with something like that. So I just kind of put all my resources together. Um, did everything, finally had the product, did all the formulation. And then I was like, I was in Florida and I knew that it would do so much better out here. And especially like I'm close to Cali and just the culture over here has been so much more live than it has been on the East coast. So it was the best decision that I made. So I got here February, quarantine happened a month after, and I was supposed to be at all these farmer's markets. Like every Saturday I had a farmer's market plant, uh, little expo. And then I had a couple CBD things that I was doing as well that I had set up. I probably had over like a hundred shows that I was going to be at this year, um, just to promote the product and really get it out there and off the ground. So, um, and yeah. COVID yeah. And yeah. Then and then COVID hit. Hit. <laughs> so I'm super like bored over here. I'm like, I don't know what to freaking do. You know, I'm like trying to just like figure things out. Cause I'm like, my hands are tied. Like I really don't have much to do anyway. So I was watching TV one night super stoned, cooking on high. And I see this lovely woman on this show. And I was like, all, her handle and everything came up there. It said Las Vegas. I was like, oh my God, she's here. All right, I'm not going to be a creep. I'm going to message her from the company's page. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to so, be a creep. So I slid in her DMs. <laughs> I slid in her slid DMs. My DMs guys. <laughs> so it works. It works. Everyone it does. keep doing it. Keep oh my God. It. So after that, I, get, I just like reached out to her and I was like, hey, like, let's, you know, I want to give you these spices so you can try them just, you know, just so she has her hands on them. So um, it was like, what, two months later, we met at where it was Lindo, a yeah. little Mexican spot over here. She introduced me to Mezcal Tequila. Yes, my, <laughs> yes, my favorite, Mezcal. Mezcal. Yes. Mezcal Margaritas. We went to Lindo Mocha a, a really well-known um, Mexican joint out here. And uh, yeah, we immediately met, met with drinks and kind of talking. And, um, you know, honestly, you, uh, Bella really moved me by her story because, um, you know, most of us like entered in this industry we all have a story, something that turned us away from, you know, pharma, either a loved one, ourselves, suffering from different ailments, and all of us found relief, and, you know, and that's kind of what pushes all of our passions and advocacy, 
and I had a few friends that had epilepsy, um, as well as uh, many patients that had it. And um, she really, really kind of, uh, we, we started having a lot of, what is it, compatibility. So she, she was a, an athlete, you, you missed that part. So she was a well, like, gorgeous, well-trained, did, did a lot of what the shows. Bodybuilding. Yeah. Bodybuilding, and like, you know, I'm very fitness advocate myself, you know, I'm always throwing knives, and you know, we're gonna be going to the firing range here soon. Nice. <laughs> Next Tuesday, next Tuesday, girl, girl, shoot free. <laughs> um, but, ladies' know, night at the range, huh? Ladies' night at the firing range. <laughs> but um, you, you were just uh, just talking about her her condition and you know all the medicines that she was on, all the pills she was on, and the cost of them, and then how she, with just one simple change, how her life just you know changed. And then, you know, entrepreneur to entrepreneur, she just blew me away because she's a badass boss lady. <laughs> Because she went, you know, she, she, when she was bodybuilding, she was, um, you were into keto. That yeah. was her main diet of preference. And so, you know, she noticed, like, you know, like my job as a certified confectioner is like an edible formulator. I make edible consumable products commercially. So um, I see nothing on the shelves, but, you know, a lot of sugar, you know, gummies, you know, candies, all of that, brownies, pop brownies. And uh, the second that she mentioned, like, you know, spices, I was like, you know what, you know, when I'm training, I eat very healthy and I would love to have my, like, my seasonings infused. Yeah. That way, I mean, you know, I could lightly infuse every dish and, you know, and keep everything, probably keep my dentist away from my pockets. Exactly. And, <laughs> and she sent me her spices and I was in love with them. Formulations, the blends were excellent. I didn't have one one, one critique on, on that at all. Uh, her allspice is probably one of my favorites, as well as the Himalayan pink salt, because she informed me I could just add that to my mini bats that y'all see me take on Instagram. Because I, right. think I, I think I video in the bath more than I do when I'm cooking. <laughs> there are lots of videos of you in the bathtub on your Instagram. I have a chance For sure. No, but tell everybody, you want to see Dee, go follow her on Instagram. That's where you get to see your toes and her knees. Right? Her legs, <laughs> you know, like, all her little she crystals in the bathtub. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, 400 candles that are lit, you know, right. <laughs> and then that's when she sprinkles the CBD pink salt in there. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah, see? Go follow me tonight. I'll have a yeah, sprinkle, right. sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, well, there you go. But um, I, I just, I loved her blends. And then the fact that she lived here, you know, uh, a woman in cannabis as well as a fellow entrepreneur, uh, I was eager to meet her and we met and we just, it was just hitting it off one after the other. And, you know, next thing you know, it's like, was it three or four Miss Cal Margaritas down? Yeah. We were besties at that point. <laughs> so now everybody knows it takes three or four margaritas to become besties with Chef D. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was a fun day. Yeah. Fun. So, Bella, let's talk about um, your epilepsy for a second, if you don't mind, because lots of people are curious, and and uh, it's definitely in the news because of Charlotte's Web and uh, and that whole deal. So, here you are. You're uh, you know a young woman uh, living your life, and this uh, ailment uh, hinders you. What was your life like before you found CBDs? multiple seizures a day to the point where like I'm falling like breaking my nose almost like just scratching up my face I, it was to a point like I couldn't even take baths anymore because every like everybody in my life was like god forbid something happens like my temperature rises I can get into a seizure just like every little thing could trigger me so my life changed so much because I was so limited I couldn't drink socially anymore there was a lot of things that I couldn't even eat so it was just, it was really heavy on me because at that age too, this was about six years ago when I got diagnosed, about five, six years ago. Um, I wasn't ready for my life to change like that. Like I was still like, you know, I, I want to have fun. I want to live my life. Like I couldn't drive. And every seizure I had was like my, my license would get suspended. So it was kind of like jail time on my license. Every time I had a seizure was another six months added that my license was suspended for two years. I couldn't drive. So it just like, it was not fun. I went into depression. I had anxiety. I didn't know who I was anymore because I was like, I'm just this girl who has epilepsy who's having seizures every single day. Right. And you, you were diagnosed as an adult. 
Yeah, I was 23 years old. Oh, like, wow. I, okay. 23. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, it just, like I said, I wasn't ready. And um, I don't expect anybody to be, you know, like I was really in denial that I had epilepsy until I'm um, having these grandma seizures, like biting my whole tongue, like in the hospital. And it was just, it was just really, really draining and exhausting to go through. Um, and you're on different kinds of medication. I mean, it's certainly you're under a doctor's care. Yeah, they had me on like three or four different medications. And then um, I was so exhausted. I was starting to have more seizures on the medicine. I just knew my body. I was like, I, my, my, I can't take this medicine. I know my body so well, but I'm listening to doctors and they're telling me this is the only thing that's going to fix you. You're going to have epilepsy forever. Your seizures are, aren't going to stop. You might not even be able to have kids because your kids are going to have epilepsy. So my whole life is like done in my eyes. I'm like, okay, I want a family. I want kids, you know, one day. So how am I supposed to live now with having this disorder that is really affecting me? So that's kind of when I was like, I need to find a really like heal it, like a healing factor, different healing factor that is going to just change my life. And I knew a lot about, you know, medical marijuana, but then I started hearing um, about Charlotte's web. Cause that's what one of my doctors was telling me about it. So I started doing a lot of research on that. And I was like, you know what? I was like, let me try some CBD. And like, to me, when I was at that age, I was like, okay, it's, if I'm not getting high from it, I don't, I want CBD. But I was like, it has so many amazing benefits. So let me try and be consistent with it. So I was starting to be consistent and I saw a difference. I was still having seizures, but not as many. So, and I was still on the medication. So I didn't even stop the medication. I was taking both. So I want to say, yeah, about a year and a half ago was when my insurance, I, I didn't have insurance anymore. And I was like, I can't pay for this medicine. It's like $1,500 a month. That's more than my rent. I'm like, I can't do it. Like, it was just, it was just horrible. So anyways. It's, uh, it's like, pretty I, sad that uh, we have to make those decisions of, do yeah. I take some medicine or do I yeah. pay my rent? You know, exactly. that's our, uh, our lovely yes. medical and insurance system that we have here. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm just, I was so overpaying that amount too. Cause it was for like two months. I was like, I'm not paying this shit anymore. I, I just, I want to get better. So I like genuinely told my doctor, I was like, take me off this medicine or else I'm going to stop taking it and I'm going to find a way. She's like, okay, we have to get you to lean off of it. So I started leaning off of it and then I was taking CBD consistently every single day for two months. I didn't have one seizure when I came off the medicine. So I was like, okay, this Oh, and how much CBD were you taking, uh, you know, in the beginning and how much do you um, take now? So I was taking about 20 milligrams every single day of it. And that's a really small dose. Yeah really small. And I saw, and not even saw, I felt such a difference. Like I felt cleaner too. Like the medicine I was taking, I felt so fatigued. I was, I was awful. I felt like a monster. <laughs> like I did not right, And you're an myself. athlete, right? Bodybuilder. So yeah. you're used to yeah. being in shape and taking care of yourself. And uh, suddenly yeah, you just so, couldn't do it anymore. And that was also like a huge thing too. Like I couldn't even compete because a lot of things competing was going to trigger me, you know, like taking out my water, like doing all these, all this cardio, yeah. pulling out my carbs, just all of that could cause me into going into a seizure because I'm, you know, just different reasons, but it was just not, not anything that I want anybody to go through. So that's why I was like, you know what, this little, uh, light bulb popped in my head. I was like, I want to come out with like infused spices, something that I can enjoy and also get like my medicine, you know, cause my CBD is my medicine. That's how, you know, that's how I look at it. It really changed my life and like it, it impacted it in such a way where I'm, I'm so normal now. Like I could cry cause I'm like a normal person now. Like, and I had to go through this for so long, but it's just like, it's such a good story. Cause I know that I'm not the only one who's, who's changed its life. You know, like I know so many people who also have a similar story, but yeah, that's why I wanted to come out with these spices and just have everybody get all their cannabinoids and terpenes and all that fun stuff and just keep cooking in the kitchen. And yeah, it's just a fun product that I want to keep, you know, growing and just expanding. So this is like something I'm really trying to take off the ground and I love her support and she's been literally like the best since I met her and she's stuck with me. <laughs> she's stuck she with me. She is the best. I would have to <laughs> agree. I would agree. Yeah. She's uh, the perfect person certainly to take some spices to to try. And the great thing about D that if she didn't like them, you wouldn't be besties. I mean, you might still be besties, but you wouldn't be cooking together. <laughs> yeah, she, I, I would expect that too. Yeah, but it's yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Yes, there's been many, many companies that have tried to uh, give me money to endorse their product. And if I didn't like it, I didn't endorse it. So that's right. You know, it's, um, yeah. yeah. That is truth. I mean, uh, that's the one thing I like, too, is uh, I always say to someone, uh, don't ask my opinion unless you want to hear it. Right. <laughs> so it's uh, as a, as a consul you're a consultant in our industry as well. As right. a consultant, like I feel like all I do is give bad news. You know? yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. You're, I've you're been going, called, you're going right. to fix problems, but you're all like, Yeah, so here's the thing. Over here, like right, you know, right. Actually, I can't do that. <laughs> right, right. And you know, Craig, who is our, our good mutual friend Craig, he uh, calls me the he calls me and he says, Okay, I know this can never work, so tell me why it can't work. Right? <laughs> And I'm the can't it can't work like that guy uh, for him. Uh, it's funny. Uh, well, that's great. So uh, uh, now, are you seizure free, or they're once a month? Or tell me, uh, tell me what it's like. Uh, you know, now that you're 20 milligrams a day at least. Now you have your own business. You're putting your spices on everything that you cook. So uh, you're probably getting lots of CBD. And how has it how has it changed your life? I haven't had a seizure in a year and a half. Wow. So yeah, it's been like yeah, nice big, 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 big deal. Big, big deal. Big deal. <laughs> yeah, um, and it's with the with CBD, like it's just I. It, the amazing thing of it, like it's not psychoactive, so I'm putting it every in everything, all sure. day, sure. breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know, I'm probably getting it like damn near like a thousand milligrams of CBD a day, but yeah. hey, I feel amazing, so that's all that matters to me. So, <laughs> and it's. Uh, and honestly, your, your story with everything, just like knowing there's just so many people out there that you, you don't understand. You're a completely different version of yourself yeah. when your health is compromised oh like God. that. And just listening to you saying like, you know, I didn't know myself. Like I was so depressed and like all I wanted to be is normal. You know, so many of us take well advantage of just the simple thing of being able to drive or, you know, being able to take a bath and sit in the bath without having an episode. And you know that, that you're just another living proof of just the power of yeah. like what plants can do. And no, hundred percent, hundred percent. I was sick, as you know, last last year, and ended up having surgery. But before my surgery, I had a pick line put in. You know, so uh, every day for ninety days, I had to go to an infectious disease doctor, you know, and get an IV of antibiotics. So, and antibiotics not only I mean, they do some good stuff. They kill the bacteria, but they kill all the bacteria, even the good bacteria. They kill all the good bacteria, they kill it, everything. It just changes you. You're right. It just changes you. That, that chemicals that they, you know, put in your body just changes you and changes your, your energy level and changes your attitude and the way you look and your skin color even. You know what I mean? It, it really affects everything where, where CBDs and, uh, and even THC as a CBD also – heals all of that, you know, and, and really corrects all of that. And, and it's great that you've been able to turn your healing into a business. And now you, uh, you sell these great spices so you can help everybody because you're right. It's difficult to get CBD sometimes in places that you know what you're getting. You know, yeah. Dean and I have talked about this, uh, you know, a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah, um, we had a podcast just on that, finding yeah. real CBD, how to tell if your CBD mm -hmm. was real or fake. Yeah. That's right. And now, you know, it's so readily available. It's great that you've, uh, and uh, where do you manufacture? Here in uh, Vegas or back in Florida or, yeah. Florida. Yep. Yep. I got my spice facility over there. Good. <laughs> I can't wait to bring you to it. Oh my gosh. It smells amazing. I, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. I bet. <laughs> All right. So you have uh, one of your spices is a uh, honey churro spice. That's, right? the, that's the new, new. That's the new, the good, new, good. new, that's the new, the new, new. Yep. Yes, that just launched this month. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, since my, one of my many nicknames is the real sugar mama, she had to give the, the sweet addition to Lip Spice, this sugar mama to test out. And I'll give it a 10. I'll give it a 10. Out of, out of what? A 10 out of? A 10 out of 10. Oh, okay. 10 I was... 10. She's a 10. <laughs> it was a 10 out of 100. It was like, I, you know, maybe it's not so good. No, I, I love I loved her whole spice line so much in this new edition. We decided to do a collaboration for the holidays. So um, we're, we're combining uh, my first edition of the Happy Chef Cannabis Cookbook that includes Be Real of Cypress Hill's album in there as a free download uh, with her spices. And we're doing just different- Shout out to Be Real, Be Real, what's up? Shout out to Be Real, Cypress Hill. 
Bye. Yeah, Bye. Be real TV. I love all you guys. I miss you so much. I'll see you soon. Um, and yeah, we're doing a giveaway. Uh, we're not a we're, we are doing a giveaway actually for the holidays, but we're doing these holiday gift bundles as well. So stock up for the holidays and um, get them a savory infused treat because like this lit over here. I, like, I, I can't wait till you are everywhere because there needs to be no. savory options in dispensaries, like more different savory options. It's not just sugar, sugar, tincture, tincture. You guys will love these, love these. And we also, not even that, should we tell them? Should we tell them? We got multiple recipe videos for you guys that we've chefed up together using said spices. So definitely check them out because they are exclusive to TNM News. Yeah. Right <laughs> All right. So we're gonna you, you guys use that honey churro spice to create your famous Oreo churro OG. Yeah, right? that's right. We and did that's what, that's what yeah. we're gonna talk about today. Uh yeah, yeah, we'll put that on today, as well as um we have another recipe that we did with churros where we made churro waffles. Oreo wow. churro waffles. So that's how can you go good. wrong with a churro waffle? You can't go wrong with churro anything. That's right. Churro, churro anything with the That's waffle. Right. Oh my. Made it right. so dumb. Mm -hmm. So we have Oreo churros and Oreo churro waffles for you guys to check wow. out. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. And um, uh, how has it been like now that you're like in the kitchen together, you know, doing things together? How's that? So damn fun. It's fun. I, lo I, 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 I love her, like, chuffing it up with her. I'm we're like, like I'm like, go oh, Liz, you do the sauce. I got this over here. We're good teamwork. So we're sugar and spice. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, that's so that that's great. That's oh, what we're gonna call our whole series is gonna be the sugar and spice series. Ah, I like it. I like it. All right, so uh, Bella and Dee are gonna take us through uh, how to make these incredible churros. Uh, churro waffle, the Oreo churro, and we're all going to use um, the honey churro spice. Are we using any other spices that uh, that you make? I think we're using the Him Himalayan pink salt in that yeah. one too. Mm -hmm. We do use a little bit of the pink salt because with all these spices, there's no sodium in them. That's why I came out with the pink salt. So if you want to add some more salt, you got a healthier salt that has a bunch of minerals, cleaner, and who doesn't love pink Himalayan salt? I love it. I love it. <laughs> all so, the way from Himalaya. Exactly. <laughs> All the way from Himalaya to my frying pan to my bathtub. That's right. That's right. Awesome. And and real quick, what are what are some of the other spices that you have, uh, Bella, in the line? So we have a Jamaican jerk, the all-purpose roasted garlic, the pink Himalayan, and now the fifth one is a honey churro. Nice. And and all of, all of them are infused with um, with CBD. CBD. Mm -hmm. Two hundred right. milligrams. Mm -hmm. hundred milligrams. No, two, 200 milligrams, each, each, each flavor is infused with 200 milligrams, and then one tablespoon is 20 milligrams. You're getting gotcha, milligrams. gotcha. Mm -hmm. and, and what you're saying, it's literally changed your life. Yeah. And That's I'm awesome. This day, That's awesome, like, well, good for you. Yeah, it's just, it's crazy how one thing that you take out of your life and just change that, that literally, like, you're a whole different person. Yeah. Like, overnight, like night and day, I'm like, man. I was literally a monster back then because I was like, who am I? Right. What do I do in my life? What, what do I do? You know, like it was, it was not fun. So now TV changed me. Now I'm all this happy, hippie chef <laughs> girl enjoying life. You see why we get along? <laughs> and you're definitely in the right place to be a happy hippie. Happy hippie. Oh, and I know. I'm happy. I know. You're just meant to be. Yeah, I see that. And is that hippie <laughs> in the background there? Oh, um, yeah, that yeah. is that is definitely hippie <laughs> napping in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we will be back talking with uh, D and Bella after you see uh, sugar and spice in the kitchen. Everything nice. See what we did there? Sugar and spice. Sugar and sugar and spice. That's what we're doing. This is where we're at, and and we're there, and we're there. This is my lovely friend Bella Infused, and as y'all recognized her from my last episode on the Happy Chef, where we did the 
Thai coconut chicken with her absolutely fantastical lit spices. Thank you. This is Bella Infused Lit Spices. I myself am Edible D, the happy chef, and we are going to happy chef some dessert for you fine folk today. And that would include her latest launch of, let me tell the happy people, tell them. Oh, I know. We kind of gave them a little hint last time. I don't um, think so. No, I, edited, I edited another video. Oh, I edited another right. video. Y'all, yeah, I wanted to boom. You know, I had to shock y'all. I had to shock y'all. So the new flavor coming out in the next few weeks is a churro spice. We got a yummy sweet spice for all you sweet freaks. Are you that, cereal? Oh, yes. Oh my God, we are. She's mm -hmm. cereal. She's cereal, ladies and gentlemen. We it's have fun. the churro it's spice. And I will let you guys know, I actually was the first tester of the spice, other than Miss Bella herself. And it is absolutely fabulous darlings it's absolutely fabulous i used it on a bacon wrapped pork loin and still like substituting the brown sugar i usually add and it was yes. so good so fabulous and so we thought today that we would do another little spin on it and also in celebrating uh dia de muertos of day of the dead which is a holiday coming up or hallows eve however you guys mm -hmm. want to celebrate but we decided to make some churros and give it a but, little twist. But not just any churros, not, not just, just any churros. Any we churro. had to do Happy Chef's Oreo Churro Waffles. So, and the main reason is because I had this amazing, I had to do, um, I was uh, formulating a recipe for an edible company out here in Las Vegas, actually. And it was for a line of uh, Oreos, um, edible Oreos. So I had to source some very dark cocoa because I was always, I was reaching for a plant-based audience. So like adding on artificial flavors, all of that was out of the books for me. So I ended up sourcing from King Author Flower, this amazing black cocoa that is, it's, it's so rich, it's so good, it's so good. However, just letting you guys know, you don't need to go and source out this if, you, if you'd like to. Check out King Off the Flower, of course, but also you can use, you know, Giardelli or any other cocoa that happens to be on a shelf local to near you. So don't feel like you're limited with trying to source and find ingredients that are not at your nearest market. Um, and we're gonna we, we're gonna do this little remix with a double infusion. We're gonna do a lit infusion with this lovely lady, and we're gonna do a Happy Chef infusion with. Hey. So, all right, all right, all right. I think I'm gonna start this off by. Yep, let's do this. All right, so we've got a few ingredients. We're gonna go over them with you guys. Um, we have a cup of water that we're doing with also a cup of, I'm using coconut flour today. And then um, you can substitute sugar, regular sugar. However, I'm using a tablespoon of agave today. I have this awesome agave syrup that is delicious. Mm. You want some ground cinnamon, obviously it's churros. And if, but also you definitely want to add the lit spices, Himalayan pink salt, as well as the new addition, the churro blend. So, so excited that we get to cook with it for you guys today on this awesome recipe and video. So let me go ahead and you wanna go ahead and turn your heat to high. And we're going to bring that cup of water Okay, and you're gonna bring a stick of butter. Here we go. We got a little secret for you guys too. A little bad. Oh uh, yes, we have another um, happy addition that we got to introduce. You want to introduce? Introduce. Oh, look at that introduction. So Bella's wonderful mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mama. So she, uh, she happened to locate this amazing like churro cooker and also empanada cooker. So, oh my God. You know, we're actually, this is, you're in an R&D episode yeah. right now, guys, because uh, both of us ladies, we're, 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 this is our first time using it. <laughs> and we're used to deep frying them, but you know, we're, we're, we're going to do the mix. We're going to do the remix for you guys yep. in multiple fashions, multiple fashions. So I got my water and I got my butter. I need to add my agave. Gotta, you always gotta sweeten it up for everybody. Mm. Sugarcoat everything for people oh, these yes. days. You know, sugarcoat things for people. Seriously. I know, I know. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that Himalayan pink salt in just a little bit. 
needs to do a little bit. Get the yeah. CBD all up in there. Yeah, you want to go ahead and infuse it right now. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hold off on this for a little bit. But I am definitely going to add in a tablespoon of this amazing dark cocoa. Okay. Ooh, look at that. It's already on my hand. See that? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's what I love about my job. I get to get dirty. All right. Oh, gosh. See? Look I at that. It. Adorable. I know. All right. And let's go ahead. We're going to add some cinnamon because I love cinnamon. Also, there's also there's terpenes in both mm -hmm. this cocoa that I'm using and the cinnamon. So get, get on that, people. It's always good to add terps always. to the terps. You just doubled your dose right there and yep. you didn't even know it. Isn't that unbelievable? All right. So I got a teaspoon of cinnamon. I got a tablespoon and a half of this dark cocoa. Ooh, it's gonna be, they're gonna be so rich. And I got this butter, I got it on high. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this to, for, to a boil for you guys. And then... All right. All right, guys, it's time for the happy chef touch. It's yep. time for the happy chef touch. So while we have the butter and all that, so of course, uh, Delta 9, the cannabis plant in general, ladies, and gents needs to bind to a fat. It is not water soluble. So we've got the butter in here that's melting and it's melted up so nice. So it's the perfect time. I'm gonna squeeze in. Now this is around, this is in the 60s. So this is, so look up for the formula right here. Bam! Okay. And I'm gonna add in two grams is what I'm gonna do because that just sounds adorable. This recipe should make around 25 to 30. Um, so, 25 to 30 different servings. So I think that's gonna be a perfect, also slightly high dose of this four to one oil that I'm working with. Mm -hmm. Ready, up, mm -hmm. we're already at a boil, ladies and gents. Yeah. Ladies and gents, we're we at a boil. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now I gotta turn it down to a low. Mm -hmm. We gotta simmer down now. We're simmering down, yep. simmering down. Okay, calm yourself. <laughs> calm yourself. All right. It's made me want hot cocoa. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. So, next step. I know, I know. Blinked out for a second. So now I'm adding four eggs. It's being added right there. Yeah, right now. She's like, you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them eggs. You gotta tell them the four eggs. You gotta tell them four eggs. So we're gonna crack four eggs then with the with uh with our little soft dough. Make sure that we just boiled up. And so it fluffed up real nice. So these eggs gonna get a little bit of a buoyancy, and now we're gonna be. And we're ready. The we're Vegas ready? chainsaw mask. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it says? This is what it says. 
spell. So, so it's Halloween, right, guys? Get All in the right. spirit. Come on, get, get in the spirit. spirit. Okay. All right, so after we just added in all those eggs, we are going to let it set for five minutes. And then we have our amazing thank you mom churro cooker right here. Thank you That's mom churro right. maker, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, gotta put this baby in a piping bag to get it really right with life. <laughs> Wow, that sure did look uh, really, really delicious. Um, you're gonna have to uh, get some over to me here, D, somehow, some way. Do you guys do a whole Uber Eats thing too now with COVID? Oh, we should totally do that. Wow, that's a good idea. I know, especially for COVID, that would be awesome. Yeah, uh, I wrote that by the way, you're welcome. Right. So what, was your, uh, what was your favorite part about cooking all that stuff? Um, eating it? <laughs> I, I would have to say uh, the after effects. Yeah. 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 After effects and, and then eating it, that, that, that'd be time. That'd be a time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nice. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is doing the dishes. Yeah, I know. That's what we always say. So how do we get uh, somebody to do your dishes? Uh, no, I'm working on training the cats. <laughs> right. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. So um, big news that we haven't talked about, which we usually do because big news was Bella was here, but um, an election happened, right? That's right. And it looks like, um, who knows at this point, but it looks like we're going to get a new president who promised uh, to decriminalize cannabis, and I wanted to get your thoughts on that. Well, <laughs> this is just what I'm going to say. I'm oh, not she can go on for I'm hours. not celebrating anything until the inauguration. No, no, I agree. I agree and with I that. I've got my hopes given up too many times, and right. I feel like when you put like. Learn, I learned this very well in business. When you prematurely right. yeah. celebrate, you kill the deal. No, 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 that's true. No, but okay, let's assume it's January 21st. So we're assuming decriminalization, hell yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I work as a consultant right now with, in, with Spain, with a, a company out of Spain and another company out of Colombia. And, you know, the way that they do business is quite different with everything being like, you know, legal in Colombia and like ran by the government and just the way business is done. Uh, I can't wait for the cannabis industry to actually get to a point where um, we don't have to be like partnered up with all these licenses in all these different states where we could actually manufacture and have a hub, a headquarters, and then actually be able to ship our products, you know, like everybody else. And also I would really love to have banking. Um, you know, these are, this would be a major, major changes that would be so be crazy. Beneficial. Banking? What do you mean? That would be crazy. I know. I want somewhere to put my drug money. Come on. I've been burying it for years. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's also for the industry, absolutely excellent. Not to even mention, please decriminalize it and get these people out of prison and get these people back to their families, pardon everyone, and stop locking up people for simple possession. This is ridiculous. Um, it is a plant, it grows natural, and there's too many anecdotal evidence of all the benefits in, you know, this is the green rush. And I'd be more than happy if Biden-Harris decides to decriminalize marijuana. Yeah, yeah, it's a big step. I think it, uh, you know- It'll probably make up with some of, some of uh, Harris's wrongs. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> she did lock up quite a few of us. Um, I'll try and forgive you there. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, it'll definitely, I think it'll be beautiful. Right. I, can't wait. I, th I think it paves the way for, you know, a legalization, uh, you know, mandate, you know, and the ability for cross state commerce, you know, because for, for cannabis not to be able to be shipped from California to Nevada, <laughs> you know, both legal states, both right next to each other, right, you know, it's just... 
kind of doesn't make any sense. Right, right, right. It's just stupid. Um, that's one of the dumb things of the cannabis laws that are out there. But yeah, but, one of them. Right, there's a lot of them. Right, right. But but national legalization, um, I think it changes our economy and it changes um, certainly it changes the attitude, but it changes the economy. You know, we all know what uh, cannabis is doing in the legal states. You know, in in Nevada where we are, you know, fifty four to fifty eight million dollars a month is being spent on cannabis, you know, um, every single month, it's almost, you know, 800,000 or $800 million, almost a billion dollars in, uh, in commerce just from cannabis. And it could literally change the entire country's economy because none of that money goes to the feds. You know, it all goes to local state governments, right? If uh, imagine if the feds are there with their hand out too, and the money will generate for them, not to mention the, uh, the job opportunities, uh, yeah. because we live in a jobless, uh, you know, economy right now. Um, and you know how I feel about hemp too. I think hemp uh, can literally save our economy if our uh, corn farmers all turn to hemp. And, you know, you, know, you know what a crazy plant lady I am. Yep. I'm all about biodegradable everything. Yep. So the more better we are with the planet, um, I mean, hemp could be making our packaging. Why can't we go completely plant yeah. on everything in our industry? I'm done with the you plastic. Can. It's because like, DuPont so owns too much plastic. It's yeah, all about everyone, DuPont. Everyone that I consult with, I, I tell them because there's numerous countries, Germany, Canada, even, even China, like Costa Rica, all went sing, like banned single-use plastics as of this year in 2021. So definitely the world is moving that way. It's more of a biodegradable. And hemp, I mean, it can make packaging, yeah. hemp cream. Yeah, everything, um, everything. everything. Any clothes, robes. It's better. It's better than trees. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and faster. It's good for the land. It's, uh, yeah. I can go on and on and on and on. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It's funny. It takes more fossil fuel to make ethanol from, from corn as the ethanol is worth. You know what I mean? So they have to burn a gas engine in order to make the ethanol. So they're polluting using the gas engine. Plus they're paying for all of the oil and all the carbon dioxide that it outputs. Um, and, you know, hemp could change all of that. Um, well, that's great. So uh, we're hoping for some decriminalization in 2021. I know that uh, Steve Sislak here in Nevada announced that uh, they are going to let out low level uh, cannabis crimes and get those out of jail, but it has been a sticking point because of funding. So that's what's so screwed up about it is that they want to do it and everyone's agreed to do it, but now they need money to pay people to actually process all of the bullshit that they have to do, you know, to get people out of, out of jail. But it is happening. Uh, it's happening in Illinois as well when they just went legal, which is great. Um, and yeah, we need to get more people out of jail. And I also think ending private prisons will- uh, Hey, please, thank you. Right, right. Well, we'll also end the demand for residents in these, uh, in these places. Um, so, all right, so Bella, thanks for joining us today. Great to meet you. I'm sure we'll see you again, probably on the next podcast with, uh, with D here. It's uh, at lit underscore spices on all the social and litspices.com. You can go check out a whole brand of CBD infused spices. And uh, the newest one coming out, new, new, is the honey churro spice. And you can use that to make the churro waffles that we just saw, right? So how good is that? And of course, uh, Chef D at Edible D, um, the original sugar mama. But she is uh, at Edible D at, uh, on all the social networks, every social network that exists at Edible D. And it's even EdibleD.com. So it's easy, 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 easy. And you can get her, her latest book. It is now in print. Why don't you talk about that real quick? Oh, yes. oh, oh no. And guess who's in it? Both who's of y'all. Both of y'all. No. It's like, it's like, well, Todd, you're, you're in my other book, too. You're in my expert edition. That's oh, right, right, right. I right. signed a DigiPath in there, too, as, right. as, as one of the sources. But no, uh, as of yesterday, Delic Dishes is not say even- that one more time. Say, say that one more time. I was say, as of yesterday. Okay. <laughs> So as of yesterday, Delic Dishes is not only available in Kindle version, but it is now available for print on Amazon. 
So Yay. I've got beautiful ladies' spices in there, as well as my good friend Todd, TD, love you, man. And so love this you. is the third cookbook that is now available in print and to, available to you on Amazon.com. Or you can get it at edibled.com, either one. Yeah, Amazon's got lots of traffic. Go to edibled.com. Yeah, yeah, go to edibled.com. <laughs> And also go to uh, litspices.com, pick up those spices, and uh, look for uh, sugar and spice coming to a kitchen near you. Uh, but we're going to keep cooking with, uh, with Dee and with Bella for the next several weeks uh, right here on TNM News. So uh, make sure you check out Bella. You know where to find uh, Dee, and uh, you can find me right here at tnmnews.com. So thank you, Bella. Thank you, Dee. And uh, I'm Todd Dankin with TNM News. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. We are TNM News.